So in this video, my friends, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Outbreak Perfected Legend Mode, get all of the special perks and all the special rewards that there is to get for your Outbreak Perfected. If you haven't done the actual normal step yet, make sure you guys do that first. If you want to check out how to do that, uh, I made a video on that. The path is going to be a little bit different in Legend Mode, so do keep that in mind. Once you've gotten the Outbreak Perfected by doing it on Normal Mode, and you go back to A to 1 to get your Outbreak Perfected, right away she's going to offer you the Outbreak Refined 1, which is the quest we're going to be doing here in this video again if you do enjoy this one be sure to leave a like subscribe for more my friends really helps with the channel uh let's continue this we're the first thing we're gonna have to do is collect siva clusters we're gonna go to the cosmodrome to do this you can go into a strike you can do public events do whatever you want you just gotta basically get kills i don't know if you have to use the outbreak perfected i don't think you do but just get a bunch of kills on fallen enemies specifically they're gonna get these clusters and eventually once you get 20 uh you'll see the uh quest thing pop up saying hey you're done that step and we can continue on to the next step so we're gonna have to start the legend uh, uh, version of uh, Outbreak Perfected Zero Hour. Uh, for the most part, the path is going to be the same, so I'm going to be cutting out certain elements of this. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys where all the puzzles are, but what we basically have to do is these two switches, but I'm going to be showing you guys um, the puzzles along the way uh, as well if you guys want to do that. Now, the puzzles can actually be done on normal difficulty, so you don't have to do it on Legend, uh, but once you get to this location right here, which you can see up on screen, this is where we're going to be finding the first puzzle. Again, I would probably just do the puzzles on normal difficulty uh, as its own separate run. You're going to go up here, uh, kind of to the top area. You're going to activate this this switch. It's going to say access code, and then you're going to have uh, some uh, some time to kind of do this. You're going to look at the pattern that was on the little m machine there, uh, and, you, and there's three locations. One's here. You, you just seen one um, to my left as well on the tower. You'll see in a second. And the third location is going to be down here. For me, the pattern that I seen on the on the console was this one here. So I'm going to shoot that one first. I'm going to go back to the console to check which was the second pattern uh, i was able to see it from this distance so i didn't go closer you can see on the tower that's going to be the second node which happened to be the second pattern and after you shoot two of them i mean there's only one left so shoot the third one bottom left should say sequence accepted if you did it right and we can move on with the rest of the quest now the path that you're going to take once you get to this uh, covert passage area there's a ship to my left normally on normal difficulty you'd go to the left and you'd go under the nose of the ship that's not going to be open you're going to go where i'm going right now follow my path this is going to be the path if you're doing this on legend difficulty now again um this is very important because uh uh, the path is completely different at this point. Once you get to this location right here that you see where, that we're at, this is where the two switches are going to be for the catalyst. This is going to be your next step after you do the SIVA clusters. The, the first switch is right there, but first we've got to go jump over here uh, and activate this switch. So kind of to the left of the, uh, the of the of the switch on this little like AC kind of unit, whatever that is. Um, and then we're going to go across from it over here. And if we go across from it, we're going to be able to climb up these kind of steps on, the, on a waterfall. And the reason we activated that one switch in the, in the back corner there uh, to the left of that uh, middle switch is because it opens this uh, hatch here on, on door number three which is where we're going to be climbing up now the first switch in the middle is the first switch to activate uh, for the um, for the catalyst okay the, the the one that we activated on the red pipes that was just to open up this hatch the one in the middle on the little kind of like square unit that was attached to the wall that was for the uh, for the catalyst the second switch we're gonna have to hit is gonna be right here I walked right by it it's gonna be right here now you have to activate them both uh, within 30 seconds after you activate the first one you have to activate the second one within 30 seconds now it might be easier to start from the top as you can see in this footage this section of the footage right here and just work your way backwards because you don't have to climb up and whatnot so it doesn't waste as much time uh, but either way if you activate both of these switches within the 30 second span uh, you're going to see that it's going to be uh, completed you're going to complete that quest step and then it's going to give you the next quest step which is to uh, basically beat this mission on legend difficulty so you're going to probably have to restart a, a whole different mission so from going from there where we just were the where where i just cut to is actually where the second catalyst switch was so there's basically a vent at the back right uh, corner there uh so we're continuing from where the second catalyst switch is and making our way through again this is an alternate pattern that is not the same uh or sort of an alternate path that is not the same path uh, as in normal difficulty which is why i'm showing you guys all of this so you know which path to take i'm not showing you guys the whole mission because i've already showed you literally the entire mission um in the normal normal difficulty uh, video if you want to see how to do the 
uh, path before and then after this section, uh, then you can check out that video up until you know this section and uh, and then after. Because basically this this is this middle section is what's different. There's let's say there, it's split up into three sections: beginning, middle, and end. It's the middle section of the um, of the quest that's going to basically be different uh, in in Legend of Difficulty. We're gonna get to a point where the path is then gonna kind of go back to where it was in the normal version. So once you get out of this pipe, you're gonna head to, to the left and there's there's these kind of like little ledges with other pipes here. Um, so this is gonna be uh, the last one here. Now right there where I just where I just stood, if you look up, there's gonna be pipes to climb up and, and make your way through. Where I just climbed right now, that pipe actually falls. Only one person can go there and, and it's kind of a shortcut. Otherwise, you're gonna have to climb up. So if, if that pipe is not there, just look up on the very on the very last kind of tunnel uh, ledge, if you will, and uh, you'll see uh, you can climb up higher and kind of make your way through that way. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Um, I, I I ran through this uh, quite a few times and I got kind of lost in what footage was which. Uh, to be honest with you guys, so um, just bear with me on that. It's been a long day. It's been it's been tricky because this is a very hard mission to do because there's not a lot of time to get through it even if you're very very proficient it's not even necessarily the enemies which the enemies are annoying especially the final boss uh, but it's also just making your way through that even if you're very proficient at it it can be very tricky so just follow the path that you see me taking up on screen here i don't really need to explain it too too much i don't think um at this part <clears throat> excuse me you're just going to be climbing up onto these pipes here making your way through um it's 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 pretty straightforward for the most part you know you pop one of these vents out and yada yada at this part right here we're at the fans and that's kind of picking up where uh the normal mission uh basically is so i'm going to cut actually towards the end at this point you're just going to go back through this you're going to go through the fan section and all that once you get back to this section though so the secret kind of hatch door uh there's this part right here the floor is lava section if you will um, and you're going to follow the path that i'm taking right here it's very 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 specific so basically you're going to be going on the very very left it's one panel second panel and you're going to go over one two three up one two three and then over one two three and then all the way up on the left side hopefully that makes sense you can slow down my footage if it doesn't this section right here is going to be the second puzzle so you can see this area right here there's these switches we're going to activate the one on the very right first so the back right and then one on the left and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna activate this one right here and then we're gonna be going back inside and we're gonna be activating the back left one and then the back right one and again just follow my path and you're basically gonna be good to go and there's one final switch we're gonna go out we're gonna go all the way to the back kind of left of this room and there's one final switch right here go ahead and activate that and you're gonna get your intrinsic perk as well as the uh, the first part of the schematic for the for the ship so you're gonna have have that done as well so that's pretty much the second puzzle uh at this point you just got to beat the the game or sort of the, the mission on legend difficulty again it's very very difficult because you don't have a lot of time and so you want to be you know make sure you're as optimal as you can be um i was using golden gun with celestial nighthawk i mean whatever your build is you can leave recommendations down in the comment section below i will say that once you've beaten the boss if all the ads are not killed you have to clear the ads or it's not it's not going to count it's not going to finish the mission so make sure you clear those final ads um, uh, otherwise, you might be out of luck even if you've defeated the boss, which is unfortunate. Once you've done all that, you can open up the chest. You're going to have the final step, which is going to go be to go back to the tower and speak to Ada 1. You're going to get your, uh, your, your weekly perk, which is going to be Rapid Hit, and that's going to be Week 1's perk, which is a lot better than, uh, what is it, Outlaw, I think it is. Um, it's definitely better, so you, you definitely want to equip this. So we're going to go to the Enclave just to kind of wrap up this video, and we're going to go ahead and uh, reshape our, our, our uh, outbreak. You can see I have Disease Vector, which is basically the catalyst um i don't know if this is because i already had the catalyst previously uh or how that works again it seems like a lot of people have already had the catalyst so there's not a lot of answers on that um hopefully that's something that's there for everybody but i just don't know uh your third perk by the way right here your third perk is where you're going to find rapid hit uh that you can go ahead and equip and and that's pretty much it my friends that's outbreak perfected that is the legend mode that is all the secrets for for week one uh lord willing all goes as planned I'll, I'll be back next week for week two to show you guys where to get more of these secrets and the perks and just to kind of unlock more uh, rewards and, and secrets and uh, all that for your outbreak perfect if you enjoyed this one consider leaving a like subscribe for more and uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments until the next one my friends game on i'll see you guys soon 
Hey you, what are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army, do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is gonna fade, that's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised, so you better think about where you're going and you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kind of like you a little bit, so it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.